M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So let's get you using the YSX PDN system with an SCU20 cable on your FTM300D. First thing you're going to do is need to register with YSX. I'll put the link in here that you can see in front of you and just put your email in here and they'll send you a form. Click send and they'll send you a form and in that you fill out all your details and you will need your radio ID. So to do that you just hold down the F go to GM at the top push the channel and then it says radio ID at number three and it's listed at the top mine is FA2SZ so there you go that's how you get your radio ID and they'll ask for your call sign ETC once you've got all that they'll send you a room number and a node number so let's uh, go to my system let's start from the from the beginning I think so we'll go uh, retry activation Click OK, and this is going to be like we've never used it before. So we've got our room and ID number. What we're going to do now is double click the YSX program again, which it looks like it just closed down, so that's fine. There's my little shortcut. Now you do need to have your driver installed for your SCU. I'm using the SCU 20 cable, so just right click here and go device manager and if you've got the correct one installed it will say prolific USB to serial com port and then give you a number so that's the one you're looking for the USB driver you'll just find that on the Yaesu site just put in Yaesu uh, FTM 300 like so go to their site files and then scroll down and the USB driver will be there it's part of the software anyway that uh, YSX, when you register, they send you a link to all the software that you need anyway, so that so that will prompt you to load it. So get your radio now into YSX mode, so turn it off. You still have everything connected. Hold the two orange buttons down and turn on. So that's the GM button and the DX button. Your radio will make that tone and it will now be in YSX mode. Again, we're going to fire up the software here. And this time you're going to be looking for that COM minus 10 and then click OK. And it's the first time registration. So what it's going to do is say to give me those numbers. So my node number is 57889 and my room number is 67889. And then click ID entry and it will check with the server and that's it. And away you go. And at the moment we're not going to change any settings. We'll just let the thing run for a minute as it populates you can see on the radio there's a frequency and that's because if you get a handheld a digital handheld and put in a simplex frequency 438575 you'll be able to talk on your handheld and walk around your house and your handheld will act as if it is um, now your 300 FTM 300 will act like it's a, a, a hotspot almost and do all the work while you walk around the house or you can hit AB and that puts you in what they call direct mode and now you can just use your PTT, your fist microphone to talk as normal so let's show you how to connect to rooms so here at the bottom you've got all these rooms populate, populating if you right click one you can add them to bookmarks so basically look at the top section here as your shortcut to favourites now you can manually add uh, connect to things by going connect connect to and you can actually put room numbers here so if I put 27793 and click OK, that's going to get me onto CQ UK. There you are. I'm all connected. And to disconnect, at the top, go connect, then go disconnect. Now there's loads of settings in here, but I don't want to complicate it too much. So let's add a favorite to our top section. So all you do, look at the rooms here at the bottom, right click one and click add to bookmark, and it puts it at the top. So that's like your shortcuts. So what's the difference between the bottom all these rooms at the bottom and the middle section Well, the bottom is all the rooms yeah and the middle is the users so I am a user for example so one of these could be if I want to scroll forever uh, could be M0 FXB yeah take me ages to find me it's probably a search anyway I think connect I think pretty sure there is a search actually uh, can't remember where the search is but I'm pretty sure there is a search and you can find things a lot quicker. Connect to. Let's click the connect one there. 
Anyway, I just waffling now. So let's we've got my shortcuts here. Let's right click the American link one that I've got there. We'll double click it, then right click it, connect. And there you are, it's got me into America link. Now when I talk, it will go green. So if I key my fist mic, M0 FXB just test. That's test. Now that was my fist mic. Now if I put it into, if I push the AB button, now it's got the frequency in front of you. And if I put that into my radio, if I can find it. Right, so I'm holding my FT5 now. M0 FXB test and then with that I can walk around the house and that definitely worked and that's it that's the system uh, so hopefully you like it the other interesting one is you can send and receive QSL cards here see that wires X box you can actually change that let me show you how to set the frequency on that you can see on the radio so you go file transceiver see the frequency there 438575 you can change that we're just going to cancel that for now. The, another handy tip, I think, is if you go to settings and go to general settings, I think unlimited timeout, really, you want that, really, because it times out quite quick. Um, there's loads of settings there. You can get your location. Let's see if I can do my location. If it's got GPS lock, you can just click read GPS data, but I haven't got a GPS lock, so that's it. You can show the position there. Now, the QSL card, got to remember that, but one of these settings allows that. Click OK so I can find it. Communication, transceiver settings, QSL card, where is it? It's going to be right in front of me. Here it is, exchange QSL card there. You can upload one here. It has to be of a certain format or it won't accept it, that's the problem. So I don't think I've got any. Uh, pictures here camera roll no so once you've got it to the correct format here it is here it's 320 by 240 bmp bravo mike papa so make a photograph use photo p they're really good and then you can add your photograph there and then you can exchange that i think that's very handy very quiet today uh, should we try and get someone on um on um yes yeah, try someone on cqk so we'll go file Disconnect. Here's CQK. Connect. And let's give a call out and see if someone see if someone comes back to me. You have to push it A B to get it in direct mode. Now I've got my fist mic. Mic zero Foxtrot X ray Bravo calling for an audio check. And use the volume controls in the normal way. No, no joy. Let's try again. I mean, it's quite early on a Saturday morning. M0 FXB, Mike Zero, Fox X Ray Bravo, calling for an audio check. Now we could try HubNet, but I can't remember their number. I wish I could remember how to search. You can search rooms. I'm looking for search. File. No. Anyway, that's it for the video. I think that shows you how to um, use your YSX PDN and how to do the exchange for the QSL. Access mode, direct mode. It's great fun. So, 7 3, catch you on now. All the best.